how to upscale Midjourney images for print. So go ahead and open Midjourney. Midjourney is a text to picture artificial intelligence, or as we all know as AI. It is a service developed by an independent research lab of the same name. This AI service allows users to generate images based on textual descriptions, creating a wide range of art forms from realistic to abstract styles. Now we are going to utilize this to create our images for print. Once you are in their site, you need to click on the sign in and you will then be asked to log in your Discord account. So make sure that you have one since we will be using Midjourney through Discord. Once you're logged in, your profile will show and here is the channel with the images I previously generated. And here is the Discord channel of Midjourney. Now this looks intimidating at first but what we need here is any of these newbie channels wherein we can type in the command for Midjourney to generate an image from our text which is the slash imagine command. Now as you can see, everyone is in here and this channel could actually be a little chaotic and if you're not subscribed to any of their plans, you cannot use the majority of the features. What you generated can be also used for commercial purposes. So these are their plans. They have monthly and yearly billing. Also, if you're subscribed to any of their plans, you also get a private bot wherein commands of other users will not be bothering your commands. Once you're in here, type in a slash followed by the word imagine. This will then show, so just click on it and this prompt is where we will type in the description of the image that we want. So just type in basically anything that you want. Let's say I want a hyper-realistic photo of a house sitting at the edge of a mountain during winter. Now after describing your photo, just press enter and once it's done loading, you will be presented with four images. And I think I like this first one the most. So I'll click on this U1. This means upscale 1. By the way, this is image 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now refresh the button. This is for when you don't like any of the four images. So just simply click on this and it will generate new set of images for you. Once you have your desired image, upscale it. This will then show on your conversation and from here, click on the web button. This will deliver you to your browser and as you can see, the default size is 1024 by 1024 and this is pretty small for any type of printing. Now to upscale this, we have a couple of options. First thing we can try is to open Photoshop. In here, click on open to open your mid-journey generated image. Once it's loaded and you're on the editing screen, go to the upper right corner of the page and tap on image. Proceed to image size and now the width and height of your image will then be shown. And what we would want to do is to make this bigger. So let's say I want it to be 8 times bigger. So that would be 8192. Input that to both width and height since our photo is square. After that, make sure to change this Preserve Details 2.0 to avoid noises that the stretching of images made. After this, just adjust this to balance the smoothness and noisiness of your image. Now, another thing you can do if you don't have Photoshop application is to visit ai.imageenlarger. So, open your browser, type in ai.imageenlarger on your search bar and visit this result with the white and black icon. Once you are in their site, you can simply drag and put your image in here. Click on the drop down that says two times and choose four times. The eight times is not available since that feature is only available for those who pay to any of their plans. Now, after choosing it, click on start all and it will then start enlarging your image. As you can see, here is the bigger photo and you can download it from here. Since the AI image enlarger is kind of limited, especially if you're not subscribed to any of their plans, I think it only has five free times to upscale an image and it's done. Another site you can visit is upscale.media. 
So just type that in on your search bar and this site should show. In here, you can click on this upload image button. Choose the photo for mid journey. Once this loaded, click on the drop down and choose times four. Here you can compare the resolution of the original and the enlarged image. And obviously the four times is way smoother and clearer from the original one. Simply click on the download button to save the image and then you can use it for printing. Now another way so that we can resize the resolution of our vector image is to open another tab and type in vectorizer.ai. This platform would make our image vector and that way the resolution will not be pixelated and the quality of the image will not be destroyed once we use it for any type of printing. Now once the vectorizer is finished, you will see that we have the same photo just a different style so it's just a vector version now we need to download it and make sure that it is on a png file format just so we can make it bigger now open canva and create a design make the resolution as big as you want once you're in the editing page upload the image in here wait for it to load click on it and then adjust it to fit the screen after that, download it as PNG or PDF print to get the best results. Now, to try if this is big enough for printing, I'll open Redbubble. Redbubble is a leading print-on-demand online marketplace. Its products come from thousands of independent designers and artists who upload their work onto their site. Now, we will upload our original image first in here. And as you can see, it is too small to be printed on the t-shirt samples, even on the hats, desk mats, pillows, and a lot more. Now let's change the image to the upscaled one. Wait for it to load and here it fits almost all of the products. All of these clothing, the pads, and even the curtain. It is not small for anything and is now ready for printing. So that is how to upscale mid journey images for print. Do let us know if this video helped you out and if you have any question feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.